As the African Climate Summit hit its second day at the KICC, the nation was thrown into limbo as the leader of Azimio, Raila Odinga, made his entrance to the summit. His arrival at the venue not only did it cause a stir but also made the opposition leader a topic of discussion on the internet. However, his presence at the summit wasn't the point of concern but his entrance to the summit became a topic of discussion on the internet too. And this is because the opposition leader arrived at the venue through the entrance made for the heads of state. This was considered as a breach of protocol to an extent that the PS of Interior made urgent changes of protocol for accessing the venue since Raila Odinga is not a president. But the real question on everybody's mind was, how did Raila Odinga use such an entrance? Did he sneak to the entrance or he was allowed by President William Ruto to do so? Let's find out. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. Raila Odinga's arrival on the second day of the African Climate Summit being held at KICC has caused a star on the internet. And this is because of one specific thing, the VIP entrance made for presidents of other countries. As different guests arrived at the venue of the summit, cameras were drawn to one specific vehicle, a Prado with number plate KDJ755V, which arrived at the venue. Security guards were armed to their teeth, awaiting to pounce on anyone who would in any way suggest to cause havoc at the summit. As the vehicle made its way to the red carpet, the deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa awaited to receive the next head of state. Lo and behold, Raila Odinga's bodyguard Maurice Ogeta stepped out of the car. Other security guards who were present at the red carpet were left in shock. Evidently, one of them who saw Maurice Ogeta turned on the right side to inform the deputy president and other guards that it is Raila Odinga. You could easily read their lips. The guard saying, Nibaba. Oh, Niwewe, Your Excellency, Nibaba. Nibaba mekuja. Now, the guard on the other side, who looked shocked, was left wondering how the opposition leader managed to get himself into the VIP gate meant for heads of states only. I guess the guards were contemplating whether to block Raila Odinga from accessing the venue using the entrance or just allow him to forge ahead. But it was evident that the damage had already been done and the security guards had no choice but to allow Raila Odinga in the venue lest they cause a scene by blocking Raila Odinga from accessing the venue using the VIP gate. Now, the deputy president on the other side, who has for the longest time had differences with the opposition leader, had no choice but to embrace Raila's presence by shaking his hands. Now, the breach of protocol with Odinga gaining access through the VIP gate intended for sitting presidents led to urgent adjustment in the security and access arrangements at the event. The Permanent Secretary of Interior Raymond Omolo promptly announced revised protocol for entering the venue. The changes effectively immediately outlined a specific entrance point for various dignitaries and delegates aimed at preventing any recurrence of such incidents. Now, the circumstances of Odinga's entry have triggered a speculation and questions regarding how this breach was made possible. Some have speculated whether Odinga's entry was sanctioned by President Ruto himself or whether the opposition leader managed to circumvent security measures. This curiosity has ignited debates among attendees and observers alike underlining the significance of this incident beyond the immediate event. Have you always imagined earning money while taking care of your family at the same time? If you're from Africa and reside in America, UK, Canada or Europe, well this can be made a reality with online business. Achieve the freedom and flexibility you desire whether you're a stay-home mom or seeking to take control of your life again. Discover a way to kickstart your journey to become your own boss with a successful online business. 
business. You work from home or anywhere and spend time with your family or even travel under your own terms. With a proven automated system that does the back-end work for you, no need to be tech savvy. No need to be skeptical because you're able to file your taxes. Also, coaches and mentors help you through your journey to success. For more information, visit www.shilainspiresaco.com or WhatsApp or call plus one seven seven triple four one two six four zero. On the other side, Ruto's supporters believe that Rail Odinga had sneaked into the summit using the VIP gate, something that some of them believed was a desperate move by the opposition leader to steal the show that was mainly meant for President William Ruto. Rail Odinga sneaked into the KICC through an entrance meant for heads of state. Quite embarrassing for this mze, one of them said through his Twitter account. But the real question is, how did the opposition leader make it through the VIP entrance made only for the heads of state? Yeah, did he sneak or maybe alikuwa mekubaliwa ama alingia tu kimangoto tu? Leave your thoughts on our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's be next time. Bye-bye.